the cuttlefish has taken camouflage to the next level. They can change their color, shape and texture to blend in with the background. It's hard to believe it looking at these pictures, but all these cuttlefish are exactly the same species. They're simply changing their appearance depending on what's around them. It's called adaptive camouflage, and it's perfect for hiding from both predators and prey. But can the cuttlefish adapt to anything? Really, you must applaud the cuttlefish for its amazing ability to blend into its surroundings. But how clever is that, really? I mean, vanishing amongst things that are around it all the time. It's one thing for a cuttlefish to camouflage itself against seaweed, sand, pebbles and stuff like that. But how would they fare camouflaging themselves against something a bit more complicated? Something a bit like this. Yeah, I know, it's hardly grand designs, but I've gone for this rather lurid decor for good reason. I want to see how the cuttlefish tackles something a bit more challenging, so I've chosen stripes, chessboard and some old-style chintz. OK, time to see how they cope. Let's get our cuttlefish settled in and dim down the lights. He's having a look at it. And he's gone straight for the big one, the checkerboard flooring. And amazingly, I think he's having a crack at it. There's definitely the beginnings of a checkerboard there. He's not quite lined up right, but, you know, still impressive. Right, what next? Zebra skin rug. Now he's improvising. Let's get him back to the task in hand. Now that's more like it. He's blending into the chaise long a treat. But notice one thing. He's not camouflaged with what he can see in front of him. He's camouflaged with what's underneath him. 